And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, that is my old school runescape bank in one week of deadman mode. So we have all of my gear here. Um, I swapped a bunch of things, like I swapped Vesta Longsword because I had two of them for Arma Crossbow. We still have two Scourge that I could use, two Primordials that I could sell for. I still have the Pegasian Crystal not used, have a Bissell Dagger, Whip, still unused Mysterious Emblems. These are all the extra Barrows pieces, including Statues Warhammer that we have. We have a bunch of items. Now, those items are mainly thanks to the people that played with me. People that were farming wilderness stuff, helped me out with VLSs. And, um, for example, Shoku gave me statues. Sosilito gave me even DFS and VLS. Like, it was a crazy tournament for him. And another viewer gave me a VLS, for example. And uh, it's basically a group effort, this bank. Um, some of it is obviously obtained by me. But mostly it is um, a group of, sm like a group of fr friends, smaller CC. Uh, that actually made this all happen. Um, but yeah, that is the bank, 183 mil. It all gets wiped at the end of today. But just wanted to quickly show you uh, the bank value. And uh, I guess let me show you my bank key if you were to kill me. Two, Pega two Primordials, Armadil Crossbow, VLS, Statues Warhammer, Zuriel Staff, Abyssal Dagger, Two Skirts, Bearing Imbued, Regen Bracelet and Fury would be lost if I were to die. Obviously the stats are maxed and we accomplished what we wanted to accomplish in this uh, tournament. Uh, so we're gonna see how the final hour goes. I Obviously my expectations are not too high simply because it's multi-part, I'm on friend finders. It is very likely that I'm gonna end up dying. Nonetheless though, had a blast playing this tournament and I will continue playing the Deadman mode into the season, trying to provide some PvP content for you guys all to enjoy. And uh, yeah, with that being said, let's see how the final hour goes. It wouldn't be a Deadman mode tournament without some juicy DDoSing at the very start. Okay. Instantly DDoSed, instantly DDoSed. All right, I have my other one. Oh, that's rough. That is rough, but we're still in because of mobile. All right, again. Okay, we're back. Fuck me, why are they doing this? Why me, man? Just want to play the game normally. So everything is fine. We're playing on a mobile. We are uh, listening to calls, pushing stuff with the team. I uh, tried to do, you know, the best possible thing that I could do, even though early it was, everything was very chaotic. Even the callers were a little bit confused, but after that I just decided, you know, it's time to follow the calls. And basically, whatever the callers said, that's what I ended up doing. Um, I could have barraged potentially a little bit more in certain situations. I might have played it a little bit too safe, causing me to use the initial bruise too fast. But nonetheless, I, um, I end up being very healthy. I don't really get targeted by anyone for a very long time. And I'm very, very healthy on the, on the bruise, on the restores. Um, and then you guys can guess what happens. I, uh, I get the, uh, basically I get disconnected again, but I stay in, but in the panic of getting disconnected, I actually paused my recorder. So I don't have my multi-part recorded, which is a big shame, but I'll show you on a different stream basically what happened to me. So, uh, it's a bit of a shame because, uh, well, I would, uh, yeah, I don't know. There's not much I can do, but, uh, let's just check some other people's perspectives. So this is what happened to SparkMech, obviously he was uh, also, he had a very very strong account, um, basically max gear, and uh, that, 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 that this was, was the same right? area I was in, north okay? North corner, north corner, north corner. North corner. Hey, Dula, north corner. Keep going, guys, keep going. Ha! And bam, this is exactly what happens to me. Look at all the white dots on the game. All of us get instantly killed um, and there is nothing we can do about it. And in the end, Jagex doesn't let us log back in. So imagine spending 120 hours for this to happen. Like at this point, I kind of... Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna change the way I uh, approach Deadman Mode tournaments. I think in the future I will do something similar to what Ditterbitter does, where he just goes out and PKs the entire week. I've played tournament trying to win the past 13 times, and they always manage to fuck something up. So in the future, if we do play tournaments, we're gonna do 
uh, basically what uh, what, Dieter, what Dieter does. I respect him a lot for what he does and I think it's super entertaining to do. So in the future, you can expect me to PK in the Deadman Mode tournament. Uh, but nonetheless, this is exactly what happened to me. And uh, after looking at it, the recording today, I realized I haven't been recording like the whole last part of the multi-stage. And uh, I am devastated about it, but... Because this would be just a funny meme, right? <laughs> to just share around how I died, but... It literally happened the same thing. If you look at anyone, look, everyone in the oh back, look, 83 insta-killed, he got 99 insta-killed, 85 insta-killed, every single person got instantly killed. And what was Jagex's response? Sorry guys, we can only return half of the players and they give them some shitty base 94 stats and take all the gear away. And ex for example, if you're a rag ranger, no team is gonna focus you and then they give you 94 base stats and gear back, like... I have, I have, yesterday I was so mad and I was saying some insulting things on Twitter to certain people. So if those people are watching uh, the video today, I would like to say sorry. The first sorry goes to Mank. I was a bit pissed and uh, I said some things that I shouldn't and uh, uh, I guess just Mank actually. I mean, I didn't really say anything uh, particularly like really rude, but I was just really mad that this, this happened. And I couldn't participate in the tournament, basically. Because that's out of my... Out of my thing... Like, out of my way. I cannot do anything about it. This, alongside with getting consistently DDoSed... Um, along, like, so many things were just wrong. And, uh... Yeah, I, my, my day was just really bad. Um, so, once again, sorry, Manked, if I offended you. It was really not my intention. And if I offended anyone else... Um, I am also very sorry. Um, but it is what it is. And uh, that's basically what happened to me, and then I couldn't log back in. I was trying for like 20 minutes, I was tweeting OSRS PvP, no response from them. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. And that's how we died. So here is another, um, what is it called, another POV, this time from Abdullah. Uh, he was actually one of the last people, as you can see, 308 people um, made it in kind of from uh, Falador. Because Falador fights always go faster than GDZ fights. And once again, the exact same thing happened to me. Here is what happened. Damn, they're all focusing me. Yes. What? Bam, he makes it through. And then look at this. Everyone around him, insta-killed. This guy here, insta-killed. This guy here. Inst look at this. Everybody insta-killed. Uh, so, so there was no way of surviving. If you were in Falador, you were dead. And I don't think they actually returned a single Falador player. Back to the 1v1s. So when they said... Uh, this might be wrong. Uh, I, I cannot confirm that. But from what I have heard from all the people that died in Falador, none of them could log back in. So what I think they did, they just made it so the GDZ people ended up going to 1v1s. So all of the strong people from Falador that survived the, the, everything just instantly got killed. And then... Uh, well, basically, yeah, that, that, that's the POV from Abdullah. I feel really bad. Like, here, I'll let it play fully once again. But I made it to the finals. What the fuck is this shit? I'll do it again. Damn, they're all focusing me. Yes. What? Everybody fucking died, but I made it to the finals. What the fuck is this shit? Uh, there you go. Like, j I would be... Like, he his reaction is still fun. I, I would be devastated, really. Um, Let's check some other reactions. So here, this was a little bit of a different situation. Um, I th this is what caused me to kind of uh, well, I I was a bit rude on the on the situation here because of my tweets uh, to basically uh, to Manked, let's say, or uh, well, it was it was directed at the Jagex, not necessarily at Manked, but I can understand how I potentially offended Manked in the process. So once again, I'm very very sorry. Uh, but here we have the fight where Manked is fighting well another person, and here is how it goes. So you see him being 33 HP, using a beautiful Blood Barrage, healing to 53 HP. His opponent is what, at about 63%, so let's say 63 HP. So his opponent, sorry, his opponent should be winning at this moment. Mank lands another good uh, Barrage, um, getting him to 62 HP, and then BAM! 99 HP, 94 prayer. The game thinks he makes it through to the next round for some reason, while his opponent has 73 HP left. So his opponent at this very situation would still have more health than Manked. Manked proceeds to play this fight beautifully though, and he gets nice combos as you can see here. Uh, 
And he gets a beautiful... Wait. Oh, it doesn't show. But basically, he gets nice DPS afterwards. Uh, and he ends up, like, quite winning this fight quite a lot. But the fact that from this here moment... Um, from this moment here to this moment here, it caused me to create the tweet that I did. And uh, it just... It, like, just this thing itself changes the pace of the fight so much. You cannot understand it. This ended up uh, causing the rematch, which was fair uh, now that I look back at it. But I cannot understand how game can... Like, how can this happen? It makes zero sense how this can happen. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, why we do not need beta tests. Because it's just, they're just not important. Look at this. Like, how... Anyways, uh, so that definitely tilted me like hard when I saw it and uh, ended up going on another rant on Twitter, as I usually do. Um, I guess I just can't help myself at this point. So that's about all I have to show for this uh, video. I really do hope you guys did enjoy it, but nonetheless, I do appreciate the support you guys have shown me throughout the week. And I will keep uploading for you guys. We're going to go into the season and we're just going to PK. We're no longer going to be playing to try and win. We're just going to have fun and PK. And I might need like a day or two just to relax, just to chill. Go outside a little bit, you know, start working out or whatever. Because I went, well, I went really hard this tournament. But it's not just this tournament. I go just as hard every single tournament. Uh, we're going to see how the season goes. I have some plans for after the season. I personally don't enjoy season until two weeks in. But at that time, the season is just dead. So I'll see what I can do um, to make this interesting for me. I'll just I'll just try to PK as fast as possible, really. Uh, potentially do a little bit of a different build. Uh, but I'm looking to go for 65-65 and go for the defenders today on stream later on. Uh, but I'll need to get some money too. So I'll have to do agility pyramid and stuff like that. I'll show you guys how to make money. And hopefully we can PK, let's say, like day two or something. Swapping is allowed. So if you're a person that, uh, you know, likes to make some money... Uh, you can uh, hop over to the seasons and uh, well you can do I guess Slayer, you can go for like DFS, something like that and you can easily swap those items uh, swap those items away for old school um, old school money. So that's uh, that's pretty exciting I think for a lot of people. Um, but with that being said, thank you guys for the support. Sorry I disappointed you, but honestly I've, I I'm waiting for the Jagex apology because that is unheard of. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep uploading. Uh, I guess this was an early April Fool's joke. And uh, yeah, I guess Jagex didn't oopsie doopsie fucky wucky. Have a good day, boys. Bye-bye.